To the Crowd, Part 1. Peep was busy in his can one day. Busy resting, I mean. When there was a sudden, non-restful noise. Hello? Since the noise didn't answer him, Peep decided to go see what it was. Cold! Has it frío? It's cold, 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 cold! Oh, hello. Hola. Well, bye. Adios. It's always cold in the winter. Ah, uh, mejor. Can I come in? Um, uh, sure. <sighs> you know how to whistle? I do. See? I love to whistle. I really, really love it. The more I do it, the more I love it. Later that day, when Chirp arrived home from a collecting expedition, she discovered that she had a visitor too. Peep? What are you doing? Waiting for you, where it's quiet. But I was coming to your house later, remember? You can't. I have a visitor. Really? Who? I don't know exactly. She's a bird. A red and green and yellow bird with a long tail and a... a poof. A poof? A poof. Chirp had never heard of a bird with a poof, so she hopped just as fast as she could over to Peep's can. Poof. I want a poof. How'd you get your poof? Well, it all started in the jungle, where I was born next to a monkey. How'd she get her poof? She was born with a poof. In fact, she was born a long way away, down south, in the jungle. But one day, she was captured, put on a boat and a plane and a truck, and the next thing she knew, she was sitting in a cage in a store, and someone was buying her. No! See, see, see. And after that? After that, she moved to an apartment where she learned how to whistle, which is an excellent way to pass the time. Then, one day, her owner left the window open, and out she flew, hoping to find her way home. But it was too cold to fly, so she stopped at the nearest tin can. Peep's tin can. And the rest you know. Wow, what an adventure! Do you think you might stick around for a while? I might, if I can find a place to stay. You have a very nice home, but I don't think I want to live here. That's okay. We can find you someplace else. Yes, I like your can, but it's too quiet. I miss all the noise of the jungle. The birds and the monkeys. Don't worry. There's a duck just down the hill, and he's very loud. Really? Really. Ducks are good and ducks are best. Ducks are better than all. It's perfecto. Can you sing like that every day? I can sing like that all day. There's nothing better than a duck. You can look, but you won't stop. have any stop. luck. Stop! Stop it! Stop! What? Only because we need to find a new home for... What's your name? I don't know. Well, you need a name. Everyone needs a name. Only it can't be quack. Hmm. I know. How about whistle? 
whistle, because you like to whistle. Now, how about Splendid Bird from Paradise? That's kind of long. Can we find me a home now? I'm getting cold. Pete, Quack, Chirp, and Splendid Bird from Paradise spent hours searching for a home. They checked everything. Like I said, everything. But nothing seemed quite right. You know what I want? A home that's exactly like Peep's can. Only a little wider and a little taller. Oh, and near to the pato. The duck. <laughs> I think we should measure you. Then we'll know in advance if something is too big or small. Bien. Okay. We need something to measure with. <coughs> Perfect. Ouch. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. You are exactly four. Four quack feet tall. One, two, three. Three quack feet wide. One, two, <laughs> three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, and seven quack feet long. Hey, measure me! <laughs> One, two, three feet this way. And one, two, feet that way. One, two, three. And one, two. I'm the same. My turn. Hey, now, watch out. Oh, one, <laughs> quick tickle. Two, stand still. One, <laughs> two. Oh, you're making me giggly. The birds had so much fun measuring Quack with his own foot that it soon grew dark. Splendid Bird from Paradise decided to spend the night in Peep's can. Peep spent the night on Chirp's bush. Chirp dreamed of growing a poof. <laughs> And Quack tried out some new verses for his song. There's nothing like a duck. Paddle, paddle. Oh, you can look, but you won't have any sprock. Wait a minute, that's no good. Um, clock. No, that's, a, that's that other insignificant bird. There's nothing like a duck. Tomorrow will be a busy day. They need to find a new home for Splendid Bird from Paradise and maybe a shorter name. So until then, sleep tight. Duerme bien. <laughs> <laughs>